yeah, yeah. When I uh-uh. I make a say. Hey, what is up guys? Um so we already saw this part in part four. Uh we're about to get started with part five, but where we left off was we were gathering stuff to uh, clean up Clementine's hand or arm. Um, she got her needles, her peroxide she needs, and her cloth to wrap her arm afterwards. So uh, let's get started. So I believe we're going to start sewing our arm soon. This is going to suck. I mean, yeah, no one sews so, so, so their own arm here. Alright, so I think we should probably put peroxide on first. Just, you know, put that on the arm. Oh. Alright. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Wow. I'm fine. Okay, so now we gotta grab the needle. Now the fun part. And we're gonna start strapping up the arm here. You know, get that fishing line, because the fishing line is really great for uh, wrapping up your arm. Alright, so let's thread the needle here. Now, just like last time, just how Crystal showed me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh God. Oh God. Oh Jesus. I don't want to see it. Oh. <laughs> Why is it not going? All right, here we got a one. Two. I got it. What? I got it. Oh, there we go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's it's in your arm. It's in your arm. It, it's in your arm. Take it out. 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 Oh, God. Shit. oh shit. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> it looks like she's having an orgasm or something. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And get ready and go. And go. Alright, now you want to strap that up nice and tight, nice and tight. Got to make sure the boat doesn't go away. Alright, here we go. Here, oh, she's losing conscious. Oh, man! Wow, for a game that, like, isn't, like, truly looking skin. Oh, my God! Wow! Wow, that's, uh, if you close your eyes, it's even more funny, the sounds, <laughs> one more, one more, one more, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, wait, you screwed that up, you screwed that up, never mind, one more, one more, one more, one more for, just, just for the luck of it, you know, All right, now we should probably wrap that shit up. You should probably put some peroxide on the fucking rag. Okay, no, we'll just strap it up, I guess. Yeah, we'll just strap it up. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Get it. In the house. Whoa. He's getting a little too close. Oh, this way, this way. Grab the bricks. Grab the bricks. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not dying yet, bastard! Oh, oh, oh right here! Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it! Grab it. Andy! 
Oh man, he took the anchor. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh shit! What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? I didn't see what I was supposed to do. Alright, so we're back at this part. Sorry about that, guys. And let's grab the hammer. Oh shit, okay, we're not gonna grab the hammer. We're gonna grab this shit. Grab it, grab it, grab it. In the arm, in the arm, in the arm. One, two, three. Oh, uh, kick him, kick him. Oh shit, we're not gonna kick him. All right. Uh, kick, 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 kick. Eat. Broomstick. Boom. And one more time, one more time, one more time. Go, 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 go. Andy. Uh, uh, uh. Hammer. Come on, in the head. And one more time. And one more for good luck. And one more for Klee. <laughs> Klee. What did I say, Klee? For? Lee. Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. Oh. You yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to Says us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. Guys, please. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Uh... Was I supposed to answer something? Because nothing popped up. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. They call it lurkers. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. How? Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. Whoa. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Something crawled okay. up his panties. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. Well, that's mean. You don't have to threaten me. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Whoa. Don't call hey, up uh, there. Got you some food if you're hungry. I don't know, it's fucking real food. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Nice. I 
I don't see why these people don't think she's like tough. I mean, hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. <laughs> I got kind of aggro, and that was <laughs> definitely not cool. Aggro. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Niggas. Niggas won. Nick lost his mom. <laughs> we took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. Oh. And there was nothing we could do about it. There was damn well that you could do something anyway, about that. Anyway, hopefully you understand. No, we don't. Bad things have happened to everyone. I guess so. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. Oh. Well, okay. Let me eat my cereal. So, what happened to your parents? If oh, you don't mind what me asking. What the fuck is your problem, man? What the fuck is I mean, your... I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Yeah, yeah, they all got fucking bit. You're so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, this we're gonna talk about Lee. Found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? He got bit. The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. All right, so this guy's starting to get emotional for this girl, and... I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice yeah. this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? And they may just let her stay with uh, her, and of course, the episodes are going to go on where... I bet you the whole family's just gonna turn and everyone's gonna die and everything. And we may even get left oh, with the daughter. You're possibly. still here. And we just met our first bitch of the day, so let's keep that in mind. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. You fucking bitch. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around Whoa, here. Whoa, bitch, you just stand back. Group, and you're wearing out your welcome. Whoa. You got what you came here for. Now go. Hey. Hey, bitch. Let me talk to you for a second, bitch. Bitch. Bitch, where are you going, bitch? 
bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking fucking bitch. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for part uh five. Yeah. Part five. Uh if you guys enjoyed the uh episode or commentary and all that, uh just give me a like, uh helps me out and uh if you want you could post me on Twitter so I get more uh subscribers. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you later. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give a like and peace out. Don't wanna lose yourself, I make them lose it. I don't know how to make songs like that. I don't know what words to use. Let me know when it occurs to you while I'm ripping any one of these verses. The verses you it's curtains, I'm inadvertently hurting you. How many verses I gotta murder to prove that if you were half as nice as songs, you could sacrifice virgins to? Uh.